So that is it. That is your first Redux app. I want to do a quick review as to what we learned here today, and then hopefully that will uh, spur you forward into creating more applications with Redux. So first of all, the main idea behind Redux is that we have one giant store. We don't have many multiple states or anything like that. We have a giant store that holds one of our states. And then we update that with what are called actions. So we have this file called action creators, which creates these actions for us, which includes what happened and a payload of information that is needed. When those actions get fired or when they get dispatched, they get handled by a reducer. And then the reducer is responsible for updating your state. Past that, we just had a bunch of components and nothing here is any different than uh, our regular React components that we've built before. Really, the only difference, I guess, would be that uh, we use match state to props and match dispatch to props in order to uh, expose both our state as well as these action functions to our components. Now, what's next for you to learn? Obviously, the data from here was coming from uh, a file. And the reason we did that is that we want it to be as simple as possible. We want to get you the ideas of Redux down without having to wrestle with any external API. Now that you know this, we can take a look at maybe how would I get this actually from the Instagram or Flickr or whatever API that I'm working with that. Now there's a couple things you can use when you're doing it that because you cannot put asynchronous stuff in your reducers. Your reducer should always be a pure function that will return immediately. And if you need to do that, you have a choice of using something called a Redux Thunk or you can use a Redux Saga. And both of these will allow you to do asynchronous calls to an API. And then when that data comes back, you're able to uh, export your action. So you look, look right here. They are dispatching the action with the data that comes back from the API. So I've heard a lot of good things about Redux Saga as well as Redux Thunk. I would probably give Saga a quick look before you look at Thunk, but that's totally up to you. As well as um, uh, the author of Redux, Dan Abramoff, also has this thing called Normalizer, which if you have a lot of nested data that comes back and you need to be able to update that data and work with an API, then uh, you need to normalize your deeply nested JSON uh, data with Normalizer. So maybe what I would encourage you to do right now is to take a look at our simple app that we've built and say, what can I now build uh, as a secondary app? What can I do that is similar to this that I can get something up and running, but how do I take it one or two steps further uh, to really push myself in, in learning my React? Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, I'd love to hear what you think. I'm at WestBoss on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash WestBoss. And uh, just say, hey, Wes, I liked it. Great job. Or I hated it. You suck. Whatever it is that you prefer you like. Um, I've got a lot more uh, stuff coming out. So always head on over to westboss.com and check out the courses page here. And you'll be able to see everything that I have available that I'm constantly updating. And I've got a lot coming down the pipe. Thanks so much. And I will see you later. Hey.